There must have been nearly 10,000 of us that Saturday we went on the walkathon. Wow, everybody turned out. Kids from junior high, high school and college students. Adults too. It was the first time I've seen people all ages doing something together and really enjoying it. Everybody had been getting ready for the March of Dimes walkathon for about eight weeks. I first heard about it in school. Sounded like a good deal to me. You sign up sponsors, individuals or businesses who agree to pay so much for each mile you walk. And with a 20 or 25 mile hike, that adds up to a lot of bread to help fight birth defects. It's not every day you get the chance to raise money for something worthwhile and have fun at the same time. We had all gotten together that morning in the parking lot of the Municipal Stadium. Man, it looked like the seventh game of the World Series or Super Bowl day. Officials from the city and the National Foundation were there to wish us good luck. And then we were off. We must have stretched out for over a mile. What a parade. And you'd be surprised how many hung in there and made it across the finish line. About five miles out, we hit the first checkpoint. There's a series of these stations all along the route. You have your card stamped to show how far you've come. Oh boy, it felt good to sit down for a minute. How come you got two pair of shoes? I thought I'd wear one pair out. I didn't know. I've never done this before. There were drinks and snacks for us. And the blister brigade was kept busy. Still a long way to go, so it was back on the trail again. Most of us didn't know each other when we started out. After a few miles, though, we all felt like buddies. It's funny how doing something like this sort of brings people together. I wonder why we don't feel that way all the time. Our city wasn't the only one that had a successful walkathon. Folks all over the country have burned shoe leather to help raise money for the March of Dimes. From New York to California, and places in between, like Omaha, Nebraska, the marches walk to help those who need a helping hand. In places like Houston, Texas, all across the land, more than two million people marched in 700 walkathons last year. They raised over six million dollars for the March of Dimes. It's easy to see why these walkathons generate so much enthusiasm. After all, one out of every 10 American families has a child with a birth defect. That means a lot of these people are walking to help someone they know. The checkpoints were spaced every couple of miles now, and each one became a welcome oasis on the way to that distant finish line. That's one way to cool your heels. For those who couldn't make it any farther, there was a poop-out pickup wagon. There were prizes donated by local businessmen, and these guys were determined to win one of them. They had a prize for whoever finished first, and a booby prize for the last guy home. <laughs> that might be me. And there were gifts for signing up the most sponsors, and for the walker who collected the most money. The prizes added a little spice, but the real incentive was thinking of the kids who would be helped by what we were doing today. Walking along through the streets of the city Oh, what a pretty sight we must be Walking along with a smile every mile Having the best of times Marching for March of Dimes Walking the walk upon March Walking along, singing a song
Man, the end of the line. Completing the hike gave you a real sense of accomplishment. You were exhausted, but exhilarated at the same time. Did you run all the way? Not all the way. I jogged and walked. Yeah? You ready to do it next year? Yeah. How many sponsors did you have? 13. 71, and I think I am the oldest man in the march this year. I certainly was last year, too. How many did you get, Sam? Sam 473 sponsors, $80.20 a mile. How do you like that? Congratulations on just finishing. Oh, thank you. How many sponsors did you have? Oh, um, 12. Are you ready to do it next year? Oh, yeah, I just did 50 miles. No, I left about 7, 7.30. I think I made it to six hours. How do you feel? No. They had refreshments for us and a local rock group put on a show while we caught our breath and rested a while. During the coming week, we'd pay a call on each of our sponsors and collect the donations pledged for the miles we walked. That was the easy part of the job. The tough part was behind us. And tired as we were, it was a good feeling knowing we had made a contribution in the fight against birth defects. Next year, when it's time for another walkathon, like millions of Americans everywhere, we'll be happy to get out and walk again for the March of Dimes. It's the least we can do for the kids who need our help. How about you? Come on and join us. Having the best of times, marching for March of Dimes, walking the walkathon march.